Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this session, we will discuss exercise 4.6. That is an exam exercise of chapter 4 of uh, additional mathematics for IGCSE and O-level students. Uh, this is very very important exercise. Uh, we will cover all several questions. So, uh, question number one: uh, Show that x minus two is a factor of uh, 3x cube minus 14x square plus 32. So we have to prove that this is a factor. So by factor theorem it can be placed x minus 2 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2 and placing x is equal to 2 and we can see that this uh, the result or remainder is 0. So so one of the factor is uh, if x minus 2 is one of the factor then the other factors uh, can be obtained uh, by division or by uh, substitution method so we will uh, do this exercise similarly for the exercise 2 and uh, let's start uh, question number one so show that x minus 2 is a factor of this uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 so in place of these functions uh, so we place 2 so 3x in place of x we place 2 x cube minus 14 and 2 square plus 32 and we see that the remainder is 0. So 15, 6 minus 56 is equal to 0. So x minus 2 is the root of this polynomial. So uh, 3x cube minus 14x square plus 32 is equal to this. So one of the factor is x minus 2. <coughs> the other factor is ax square plus uh, bx plus c. So we will multiply x minus 2 and expand this term. So we will obtain this ax cube pl uh, plus b minus 2a x square plus c minus 2b x minus 2c so on comparing coefficient we see that this a is equal to 3 and b minus 2a is equal to minus 14 so from a is equal to 3 b in, in this place b is equal to minus 14 plus 2a so so this 2a in place of this a 3 can be placed here so 6 minus 14 is equal to minus 8 so b is equal to minus 8 and a is equal to 3 and similarly this 2c is equal to uh, minus 2c is equal to 32 so c is equal to minus 16 so a b and c all obtained so we can place in place of this ax square bx plus c so in place of a 3 and place of b we have minus 8 and in place of c we have minus 16 so this uh, can be further factorized so this uh, middle term obtained by 12x square plus 4, 4x minus 16 so we have obtained this x minus 4 3x plus 4 hence this polynomial cubic polynomial is equal to x minus 2 uh, this is the first solution we have already obtained uh, the remaining this factorized term is uh, this one so x minus 4 and 3x plus 4. So this is the factorization which is the part 2. Okay. So this question number 1 is completed. Uh, let's see question number uh, 3. Uh, the remainder when the expression x cube plus 9x square plus bx plus c is divided by x minus 2 is twice the remainder when the expression is divided by x minus 1 show that c is equal to 24 and in the second question part uh, given that x plus 1 x plus 8 is the factor of uh, this uh, uh, this polynomial show that the equation this is have only one real roots so question number 3 So for this question number we have this uh, polynomial divide by x minus 2 the remainder is 2r. If we divide the same polynomial by x minus 1 the remainder is r. This is given information show that c is equal to 24. For x minus 2 uh, we will place x is equal to 2. So in place of x we place 2 and the remainder will be obtained 2r. So on placing this we have obtained uh, bc plus 44 is equal to 2r. So in the second equation, x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 1. In placing x is equal to 1, we have obtained bc plus 10 is equal to r. So this 
b plus 2 c plus 20 is equal to 2 r so uh, we can eliminate this 2 r since this equation 1 and equation 2 both are equals to uh, this 2a is equals so this may be equals so from this we have uh, uh, obtained this uh, two equations and uh, c is equal to 24 is obtained by working on it okay so the second part is uh, show uh, b part question number 3 b part given this x plus 8 is the polyn is the factor of this polynomial mm -hmm. the polynomial is a little bit different uh, this is c is equal to 24 so c value of c has been placed here and now this polynomial and uh, show that this polynomial has only one real roots so the second part uh, x plus 8 is the factor so is given x plus 8 is uh, given this factor is given so x minus 8 is 0 so it should be 0 so in placing 0 so we have obtained 8 11 minus b so 8 is eliminated 8 11 minus b is equal to this b is equal to 11 so fx is equal to uh, in place of b we place 11 so this polynomial has obtained now this polynomial uh, we have uh, obtained x plus 8 and the remaining is a x square plus b x plus c now we multiply expand it and then uh, by comparing these coefficients uh, a is equal to 1 and b plus 8 a is equal to 9 so b plus 8 a is equal to 9 so a is equal to 1 so this is 8 uh, b is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and this uh, 8c is equal to 24 so c is equal to 3 so x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 so from this we have obtained this discriminant is uh, less than 0 so this is complex so uh, the roots are complex not real only one root is real that is x plus 8 only one root is real and the other ones are uh, complex which is proved through this discriminant b square minus 4ac is less than 0 now question number <coughs> uh, uh, let's ask question number uh, 5 factorize completely the expression 2x cube minus 11x square minus 20x minus 7 so we have to factorize it completely uh, this is a 5 marks so we have to factorize it so we place uh, some values x is equal to minus 2 no it's not equal x is equal to 7 because this is the last term is 7 so we can place 7 so on placing 7 we have obtained this 0 so x minus 7 is one of the solution uh, this uh, information gives uh, that 7 2 or 1 could be the probable as uh, roots so for x is equal to 7 we have obtained this so that's why x minus 1 is one of the root so we divide by this to get this uh, value this can also be obtained through ax square plus bx plus c but here we have divided it to obtain this and by factorize this further we can find it like this by the root uh, middle term breaks and we have obtained x plus 1 and 2x plus 1 so this uh, 2x cube minus 11x square minus 20x minus 7 is equal to x minus 7 x plus uh, 1 and 2x plus 1 so x minus 1 is this one so this cube is equal to this three roots because they are the x power three so they are so we have three roots uh, now question number five now the expression uh, x cube plus ax square minus 15x plus b has a factor of x minus one and leaves a reminder 75 when divided by x plus three 
गिव वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी सो दिस इज द इंफॉर्मेशन एक्स क्यूब प्लस ए एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फिफ्टीन एक्स प्लस बी वेन बी डिवाइड एक्स बाई एक्स माइनस टू इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ दिस पॉलिनोम सो अनदर इंफॉर्मेशन इज गिवेन दैट इफ वी डिवाइड दिस पॉलिनोम बाई एक्स प्लस थ्री वी गेट द रिमाइंडर सेवेंटी फाइव तो सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू वी हैव दिस इक्वेशन इन so we have obtained this equation 4a plus b is equal to 22 <clears throat> on placing x is equal to minus 3 the remainder will be 75 so on placing minus 3 we we'll place all this and the remainder is 75 and so on simplification we have obtained uh, 9a plus b is equal to uh, 57 now we have equation 1 and equation 2 here we have a and b here we have a and b and uh, by subtracting the b can be eliminated and then we did the same 9a plus b is equal to 57 and from 2 to 1 we have subtracted equation 1 from 2 and we have obtained a is equal to 7 and by substituting in any one of the equation then we obtain b is equal to minus 6 so a is equal to 7 and b is equal to minus 7 is obtained <coughs> uh, the polynomial f x is equal to a x cube uh, plus seven x square minus nine x plus b is divisible by two x minus one. The remainder when f x is divided by x minus two is five times the remainder when f x is divided by x plus one. The remainder when f x is divided by x minus two is Five times the remainder when f x is divided by. If x, if the f x is divided by x plus one, the remainder is r. Then by dividing x minus two, it will be five r. So show that a is equal to six and find the value of b. So we have to do this part. <coughs> and using this part a, show that f x is equal to this and c d e r int integers to be found. And hence factorize f x completely. So this is the same part, same question. And uh, by uh, dividing this, we have obtained this uh, equation by divide uh, divisible by two uh, x minus one. So x is equal to half. Placing half, we have obtained a plus eight b minus twenty two is equal to zero. In the first part, in if we divide the x Uh, is equal to 2 and uh, is it is 5r it is equal to 5r if x is equal to minus 1 then the remainder is only capital r and uh, from this two equations uh, we have to equate it same so make it 5r by multiplying this whole equation and we have obtained this solution so from this we have 13a minus 4b is equal to 70. Or from equation one, we can place it there, and by solving, we have obtained b is equal to 2. If b is equal to 2, then a is equal to by placing 2 here, it can be obtained is equal to 6. Proved. So this uh, a is equal to 6 is proved, which is given in the Equation so a is equal to six is given and b is equal to two is obtained. Now uh, f x is equal to two x minus one c x square plus d x plus e. This information is given and we have to obtain c d and e. Now we'll do the same. This polynomial is given by placing the values of this uh, uh, functions value of a and b by placing it here. so this is the polynomial the part 2 now we did multiply and expand it and after expansion it will be like this so now compare the coefficients and we will get that so 2c is equal to 6 so c is equal to 3 and from this e is equal to minus e is equal to 2 so e is equal to 2 minus 
and d from here 2d minus c is equal to plus 7 so 2d minus c is equal to 7 2d is equal to 7 plus uh, c is equal to 3 so 7 plus 3 d is equal to 5 so c d and e is obtained and we place this value now factorize it further by uh, breaking this middle term or into parts and then factorize and finally the result obtained as 2x minus 1 3x minus 1 uh, x plus 2 so this is uh, the conclusion of this chapter this is very very important chapter and uh,